Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Agnes and today I'm going to show you the tour of the Grand Overoy Hotel. But the first thing I want to show you is actually our room which we are staying in and it is our second night now that we're spending the night in this beautiful hotel. Now this hotel has a lot of history, has beautiful, beautiful building which has been built many, many years ago and has actually been voted top 15 hotels in Asia. We have been having fantastic stay in this room and I must admit that we have been treated really, really nicely. We have requested interconnected rooms, which we normally do because we have a large family and we always ask for those rooms to be provi provided for us. And if you ask in advance, these are usually given to us. So let me begin from the front of the room and I'll talk you through what I see in front of me. So you will see a lot of luggages because we have already moved into the room. So as you walk in, you have a beautiful double wardrobe where inside you will see the ironing board, the iron, the hangers and all the essentials that you need in the hotel room. And you can store your luggages in there as well. Plenty of light so you see what you're doing even if it's dark. You've got a little coffee bar and some also sweets and cookies and berries if you wanted to have some of, although these are obviously um, a bar item, so you will have to pay for those. The water is complimentary and here we've got a fridge and in fridge you do have some drink, some beverage, again at additional fee. You have wine opener, wine glasses and some drink glasses should you wish to have something to drink. So as you notice, this room or any room in this hotel is very much, it has this heritage and antique touch to it because this building has not really been changed since it's been made. It's just been renovated and refreshed. So to make sure that, you know, it stays up to date and is nice and clean. The beds are very nice and comfortable. They're soft and unlike in India, mattresses are pretty, hard to sleep on. This is actually a very comfortable bed. And in here you've got a desk where you could complete some work if you needed to. A lot of people that stay in a hotel, they're usually on the business trips, so they have some work to do. So you can do that easily on the desk right here. And you've got big double curtains. We actually have a pool view, which I'm not too sure if I will be able to show you right now. Not right there. We have a pool, guys. And here you've got some armchair that you can rest up on and stretch your legs if you wanted to. And there is a phone, side table. And here you can connect your devices if you needed to. So we have a double bed here and in the other room there is two single beds. We join them together so that kids can sleep on. And some pictures, art hanging. We have air conditioner as well, which is currently switched off because it feels very nice and comfortable. And there's another side table. And I will take you now to the bathroom. So the bathroom is very nicely equipped. It's got big toilet. And this is the sink. Massive mirror. And the shower gel and body lotion is provided by Forest Essentials which smells absolutely gorgeous. So here is more. So you've got a big shower with a bath. So if you wanted to, you could just easily take a bath. And you've got towels provided. If you want to have a bath, you can easily jump in. The bathrobes are also provided. I'll quickly take you to the room next to us, which is where the kids are. Hello, Jay. Hi. So this room is pretty much similar to the other one, only that you have a double bed here. And then you have us. And the rest of the crew. And you have this in here. And then yes. you have And there's a lot of things that are different, but it's this. Yeah. How are you guys liking the stay here so far? Awesome. It's amazing. It's the best hotel in Kolkata. Yes, sure. so far. Because the service here is fantastic, oh, phenomenal. They, they, they chase up mm -hmm. and small things matter here. We stayed at other hotels here. There, good, 
for the service here is we exceptional. Yes, we have really been looked after. If I have to come back to Kolkata, it has to be uh, Grand Um And also, if it wasn't so expensive, I would stay here <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah you get what you pay for so now i'll show you some footage i took earlier of the hotel which have been uh, given to us by one of the member of the staff and he showed us around and it was really nice of him to actually take us around we've been given a beautiful book as well so that we can read up on the history and heritage of this hotel this is the, Oberoi. This is the founder of the hotel group yes. mm -hmm. was this the first ever hotel built this was the first hotel under the name of Oberoi. He started his career out in Shimla. So there is a hotel in Shimla called the Clarks. Okay. He started out as a nighttime clerk. And his first job, he went and he got selected purely because of his grooming. Okay. So he went up to the manager and then he just asked the manager that, so I need a job. The manager at that time was D.W. Crow. Mm -hmm. That was the man's name. And he appointed him because of the way he knotted his tie. Okay. He was that professional. I see. You want to go with us? Yes. Once Mr. Oblak got this property, it was in a very, very nice. Oak? Deep. Okay. So the Chandra is more than 110 years yes, old. So this is the gentleman who was in this hotel. Okay. He was the founder of this hotel. He named it the Grand. Okay. Mr. Art and Sim. Mm -hmm. The Armenian gentleman I was talking about. Yes. He was the one who sold it to Mr. Oak. I see. First and the only pillarless ballroom in the city. another banquet hall? This is the banquet space. Uh -huh. So on the left side we have the ballroom mm -hmm. and on the right side we have two other banquet halls. One of them is called Pushki Park and the other one is Bolti. Would you like to go through them? Yes please. So this is Bolti one and there is this artificial wall over there. Beside it you have Pushki Park. Uh -huh. The wall drops down. Yeah. Wow. So we're in this spa area. This part of the wing only contains spa. Above the spa, there is 100 rooms, which are now closed for renovation for over five years. And because it's taken so long to complete, people have labeled it as a haunted wing. That is why you find all the inner facing rooms with balconies. So they could come out, watch the show, watch the performances. Live acts used to be performed here. Ah, uh, okay. It used to I be see. a stage. Yes. Then it was transformed into an ice skating rink. Oh my. Then it sick. was transformed into a pool. This structure, maybe 80, 90 years back, used to look very good. Yeah. Very good. Now I think. Uh, So we saw people eating here sometime. Okay. It's now a banquet hall. Okay. But we saw people eating here last night. No? I was not here. Um, banquet space, right? So banquet events happen here. Birthday parties, small get togethers, family dinners. I see. So they can book this space. And if you can see a very Indian cultural touch. Yes. 
So this is where we have breakfast every morning. I love the wing on the top, the decoration. So this guys used to be the old entry of the Overoy and right by the sub entry there is a beautiful shop with jewelry that has real gems at really good prices guys you have to come and see this when you come to Overoy and this gentleman has been running this shop for three generations and it actually is hard to spot from the front of the hotel and many people misses the opportunity on buying beautiful jewelry with gems inside it. So when you guys are here, please make sure you do visit the beautiful shop. So guys, we have just finished the tour and a guy named Sheldon has showed us around. He's very kind and he told us the whole history of the hotel, which was very interesting as you discover every single area of this hotel, which has so much to offer. And Sheldon has given us a book at the end of the tour, which Angie is holding in her hand. And this book contains the whole history and pictures of people that contributed to the build of this massive grand place and we really enjoyed this this tour and we've been so well looked after in this place and really people do go beyond and above to make sure that you're comfortable in this place do come and visit grand Oberoi. thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this tour and if you were considering where to stay in Kolkata, this is going to be probably one of the best places to go. And we will highly recommend for you to come over to the Grand Oberoi. That's all for now. And I'll see you soon in another vlog. Cheers.